Hey Nathan, it's Wednesday, June 18th. So I've spoken before about my dad's book publishing company, Hadley Real Books. It's a small press, which means it's basically the opposite of something that makes money, but uh, they've launched an Indiegogo campaign to try to raise money to hire marketers. You can check out the video via the link in the description or on the Indiegogo page, the link for which I will also put in the description. If you could check out that page, that would be so awesome. And if you could share it, that would be even cooler. The books they publish are really cool and progressive actually. One of the missions of Hadley Real Books is supporting the increase of complex female characters in speculative fiction. The ubiquity of static, uninteresting female characters infects not only literature and my and many others' opinions, but also film, television, and some have even included video games. There's a test for movies called the Bechdel test. This test only has three requirements to pass, which are that the movie contains two women who talk to each other about something other than a man or men. Just one little conversation about something, anything, that doesn't concern a male character or men in general, you know, like geography or evolutionary theory or what's for dinner even. You'd be surprised at how infrequently films pass this test compared to all the films in existence, especially Hollywood blockbusters. But anyway, I wanted to talk today about some female characters who are helping to dispel these uninteresting female archetypes. First of all, Nathan, you and I have started watching the series Star Trek Voyager. It came out in the 90s and it is the second to most recent Star Trek television series. Some of the things that I think are so awesome about this show is that not only does it feature a female captain as the main character, but that her way of captaining isn't specifically feminine. She's never questioned by her decisions because she's a woman. In fact, she makes a good boss and is judged by her character, not by her gender. She can make decisions, good ones, and have an entire crew behind her. So progressive, even for the 90s. But you know, Star Trek has always been progressive, which is why I dislike how much hate it gets. A certain book turned movie I've seen recently has made my good job list. I don't know if you've heard of it or anything, but yeah, yes you have, it's The Fault in Our Stars. Story and awesome female character created by none other than John Green. There are several things I like about the leading character, Hazel. First of all, she's real. As in, like, she has some really cool things about her and then some not so cool things about her, but it doesn't matter because that's just how real people are. For example, she's super smart and somewhat philosophical, but also rather cynical and sometimes is okay with just being her cancer instead of just being a person. Her character is beautiful, even while wearing simple clothes and a cannula. Nathan, you and I saw a TV show recently called Broad City about two best friends living in New York City getting into all sorts of silly shenanigans. These characters are complex, hilarious girls who show that girls can be funny, raunchy, and interesting. Nathan, I'm excited to see female roles progress in our near future and we'll see you on Friday.